welcome to the class in this class we will be discussing about the data table uh, of the subject uh, data interpretation with the help of this example this example example has been taken from the RBI officials grade B exam of uh, 2011 okay so at first side we see there are two tables so let's read the question direction to go the question number 36 to 40 study the following tables carefully and answer the questions given below number of people taking fresh loans from different banks over the years and the percentage of defaulters amongst them each year so the first table is about the number of people taking fresh loans from different banks over the years and the second table is about approximate percentage of defaulters amongst them each year so for the bank pqrst for the year 2004 to 2010 so it means for example if we uh, take this particular uh, data so 27361 is the number of people taking fresh loans from the bank p in year 2004 okay and in case we uh, want to find the number of uh, number of people who are defaulters approximate percentage of defaulters amongst them in case we, we want to find out the defaulters of bank p in the year 2004 that is p in the 2004 this row is for 2004 the defaulters percentage is 12 percent so 12 percent of this figure are defaulters in bank p for the 2004 similar is the case with the other year and for other banks so let's start with the, this uh, question take first the question number 36 approximately how many people taking a loan from bank s in the year 2006 for defaulters so first of all find out how many people how many people of uh, uh, taking loan from s in the year 2006 number of people if we denote in this manner so number of people the bank s bank s for this column and for 2006 this much so how many two nine five six five that is two nine five six five this number of people have taken loan from bank uh, bank s in the year 2006 so how many of them are defaulters for this column in 2006 if we move ahead this is the uh, defaulters percentage for s this one for s this one so that is defaulters are defaulters uh, of s in 2006 is what we have seen here 21 percent so number of defaulters number of defaulters is 21 percent of this figure 29565 okay so just a simple calculation first in case to uh, reduce time uh, we can uh, calculate like 21 percent is basically 20 plus 1 20 plus 1 percent so that is basically 20 percent means one fifth that means one fifth of this value plus one percent of this value so one fifth of this value we can write here otherwise we can calculate it orally also we do not need to take one fifth at two nine five six five plus one percent of two nine five six five we can do this calculation mentally 
here it will be 5 5 5 25 then 4 5 5 9 ja then 5 1 then 3 plus 1 percent of this will be obviously 295.65 295.65 so in case you add both of them you will get yeah, 5 plus 3 that is it will be 8 9 plus 1 that is 10 0 9 plus 2 that is 11 plus 1 that is 12 and 5 and then 1 that is 6.65 so with this uh, breakup we have done this calculation manually so the answer is 6208 so which option is closer option 2 6210 okay let's uh, move ahead let's solve the question number 37 37th question okay approximately what was approximately what was the difference between the number of defaulters of bank q in the year 2004 and 2005 okay so defaulters defaulters for bank Q in the year 2004 will be for 2004 what is the number of uh, people taking loan fresh loans for 2004 bank Q 26345 26345 this is the number of the people who have uh, taken loan from bank you in 2004 this has to be multiplied by the percentage of defaulter that is for Q for Q for Q 2004 2004 this row we see the percentage is 9% so 9% okay similarly defaulters for Q bank in 2005 2005 the bank Q again 27456 27456 multiplied by the percentage of defaulters for Q this column and for 2005 this row so it is again 9% 9% okay so we have to calculate in this question in 20 uh, 37th question what was the difference between these two numbers so the difference difference is basically uh, basically nine percent of we can subtract because in both the cases uh, this is a common so nine percent of two seven four five six minus minus two six two six three four five so that is nine percent of uh, uh, what is this value six minus five that is one five minus four that is also one four minus three that is also one and seven minus six that is one so nine percent of one 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 that is one 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 into nine by hundred so that is nine 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 by hundred that is ninety nine point nine nine so basically the figure is equal to hundred so uh, approximately what was the difference so options are 175 125 190 205 140 so which option is closer these options are much much bigger this is closer option the option 2 is correct so uh, with this way we have solved 36 and 37 we'll solve other questions in the uh, next class